Puget Technologies have just released big news. What's up investors and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Puget Technologies. This stock is traded on the OTC pink sheets, ticker P-U-G-E. This has been making huge gains over the past few weeks and although I expect a bit of consolidation soon, I think this stock could go very fair over Q4. This definitely has millionaire making potential, so stick around for the next 10 minutes and let me explain to you why this stock has so much potential. If you're new to the channel and find any value in this video, can I ask you to smash that like button? It literally costs nothing but it helps me out so much with the YouTube algorithm. Your likes is what makes a small channel like this grow, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content like this, and stick around until the end, where you the viewer can have your say on what you want to see. So today I'll be looking at who exactly Puget Technologies are, what they do and their strategy. Let's assess the latest news and catalysts that will drive this stock in the coming weeks. I look at the management team, which is absolutely vital to this type of company. Then I analyze the charts and give you my conclusion. Now let's dive straight in. Puget Technologies is a Florida based company that aspires to evolve into innovation focused holding company operating through a group of subsidiaries and business units that work together to empower groundbreaking companies to reach their next stage of growth or companies that eventually want to attain independent publicly traded status. Their multi-pronged strategy combines acquisitions, strategic investment strategies and operational support. Puget intends to provide a one-stop shop for growing companies who need access to both capital and growth resources while enabling Puget and its stockholders to generate synergies and derive profit through shared resource and common goals. They strive to empower innovative companies with the resources and knowledge they need to be successful. Puget uses multiple strategies to identify opportunities with the potential for aggressive growth and to secure the capital and resources these companies need to achieve their growth goals while building value. They look for companies with proprietary technology that have the potential to change the game in an industry. They look for innovative startups and entrepreneurs who have the potential but need a little help to get to the next stage. The company's key focus is on industries that have potential for significant global, societal and financial impact, where their team and professional network have expertise such as climate change, healthcare and business to business technology. We'll talk a bit more about the team in just a moment. Puget uses a four-pronged strategy to identify and cultivate companies with the potential for industry disruption and market leadership. Other companies usually focus on one of these areas but Puget intends to combine all of these strategies offering a one-stop shop for their companies and increase synergies to increase shareholder value. The first of these is acquisition growth investing where they pursue acquisition opportunities that exhibit certain favorable attributes such as the potential for industry disruption with a new technology or business model and multiple alternatives for value creation such as geographic expansion, organic growth potential, cost saving options and value chain integration. The focus will be on post investment value creation by helping the existing management team reach their full potential either by direct management involvement or by integrating them into the pre-IPO incubator program. This is the second prong of their approach where companies will function as a subsidiary of Puget. During this time, the subsidiary will maintain control of most of its operations, but will be coached on all aspects of functioning as a public entity, including internal controls, financial reporting and disclosure, communication strategy, and more. The third prong is business development, where they seek out companies in need of financial resources and managerial support with market values of less than $250 million. Through this strategy, they offer the acquired companies access to Puget's network of experienced professionals. And finally, they plan to run a SPAC business where they will manage a series of SPACs that will assist in funding for operating companies that desire to go public without going through the traditional IPO process. If you followed the SPAC boom of last year and early into this year, you'll be aware of just how profitable this type of business really is. Look at companies like DraftKings, Lucid, Virgin Galantic, early investors that were in those from the base level made huge percentages. Now there has been a lot happening at Puget in the last two months and this has seen the share price run from triple zeros up to hitting one cent for the first time this week. Although this has pulled back a little bit today. Most recently Puget signed two letters of intent to acquire two companies in the healthcare sector. 
the Florida Behavioral Center and the Glades Medical Center of Florida. In each case, the companies have granted Puget a 90-day exclusive right to negotiate specific terms after it conducts required due diligence, and the parties determine the most appropriate valuations and form of acquisition. In both cases, the acquired companies will become consolidated subsidiaries of Puget and will be incorporated into Puget's healthcare division in order to generate synergies and attain sufficient operational savings. These two companies will add approximately $4.5 to $5 million in annual revenue to the Puget Group. This was announced on September 10th, so 90 days would mean that they have up until early December, but management intends to conclude negotiations on or before November 30th. These deals follow on from Puget's acquisition of D&D Healthcare back in August. This company adds approximately $5 million of revenue for 2021, with anticipated profits of $1 million, but through Puget's expertise and connections, they anticipate an increase of these profits 100% year over year for the next two years at least. As we can see here, as of September 30th, they will be providing an update on the progress of our due diligence by the end of next week, as well as providing an update on the location and move-in timing for the new headquarters, and an update on the efforts to launch business in Puerto Rico by the end of the week. So I expect that we won't see all of these updates together. It's quite likely that they will provide one of these each day for the remainder of the week. And the first of these came today. Just in the past couple of hours, Puget announced that they have entered into a letter of intent to acquire a company in the real estate industry. This company, Care Suites, will offer doctors and other healthcare and wellness professionals the space, equipment and support they need to start and grow a private practice without the overhead traditionally associated with independent facilities. Their space as a service concept is cost effective alternative for healthcare professionals to expand their practices into otherwise inaccessible markets. Karen Fordham, who we'll speak about in just a moment, said she is thrilled with this possible addition to the company. The introduction of real estate, equipment leasing and ancillary professional support services to the Puget Services portfolio will help us to diversify our business model and will create even more opportunities for our growing family of companies to attain industry leadership. So there's some very big key words here from Karen. First of all, this is an introduction into the real estate market as well as the equipment leasing it will help them diversify the business model and create more opportunities to help the company grow. So Puget is a company that seems to have big plans, but as we know, big plans mean very little unless there's a management team in place that are able to achieve the set goals. So let's look at Puget's team. So first of all, we have CEO Karen Fordham, who's only recently joined the company as recently as August. Ms. Fordham is an accomplished healthcare executive with more than 20 years of experience specialising in operations, strategic planning, recruitment, process improvement and financial management for large healthcare organisations. In recent roles at Wellvana Health, Karen has been the executor of the revenue strategy for the organisation, identifying and executing on new market and new product opportunities. She was also responsible for identifying and forming strategic partnerships that would advance the company's growth agenda and market position. Ms. Fordham has served as CEO for several major health systems in Michigan, Indiana and Florida. This level of vast experience will be invaluable to Puget going forward and I'm sure that Ms. Fordham will also possess a wealth of connections given the amount of high level roles that she has had over the years. She was also named 2014 esteemed woman of Michigan and named on Detroit Cranes top 40 under 40. Then we have Herman Burkhardt, chairman of the board. He was replaced as CEO by Ms. Fordham, but he is a seasoned investment banker, has worked for some of the nation's premier investment banks, as well as on his own as a syndicate manager in multi-million dollar transactions. He has also trained over 10,000 stockbrokers for many of Wall Street's premier investment banks through his training company, Securities Training Institute. Over the last few years, Herman has been instrumental in several transactions some of which were the result of reverse mergers for which he was appointed chairman and CEO. Thomas Jaspers, who is the chief financial officer. With this type of company that will be involved hugely with many financial dealings through their acquisition strategy, it's important to have a top level CFO. 
Mr. Jaspers has worked for Haskins and Sells, which is now known as Deloitte. This is one of the big four audit firms. These are global companies. This level of experience will be vital in my opinion. And Thomas held positions as consultant, CFO, auditor and tax planner to a number of private and public entities, including Puget Technologies. Looking at the chart, we can see that Puget is up over 200% year to date. But more impressively, this stock is up nearly 9,000% over the past 12 months. As we can see here, the stock spiked up in December before consolidating, then again in January before dropping back down and consolidating once again at a higher level than before, and then it spiked up again in February. At this point, as we know, the whole OTC market went cold for the past few months. In fact, Puget was at a low point of only 0.0016 in September, but has gained about 400% in recent weeks. But this might only be the beginning. As we've seen over the past few months, with CYBL, ILUS and DPLS, and considering that the market cap is only less than $50 million right now, and trading volume is showing as one of the hottest stocks in the world, with well over half a billion volume, this stock might have a long way to go. And looking closer, we can see here just how steady the gain has been over the past few weeks. Moving in this upward channel before breaking out above this on Tuesday, and now it is looking like the line of resistance has now become a level of support. So the market is still open right now, but if we stay above this line, this could very well prove to be the new level of support going forward. So guys, before the end of the video, what would you like to see next? Stocks that I'm looking at right now include a tiny $6 million micro cap that has a management team boasting decades of experience across Fortune 500 companies, the likes of Aon, Mastercard and Goldman Sachs. This stock is going to be huge in the coming months. And if the OTC rallies like it did last year, then this stock will go parabolic. Or would you prefer to see a video on one of the hottest stocks to take off at the moment, boasting trading volume in the billions of shares traded over the past few days? The future is golden at this company with a very experienced CEO and a market cap of only about $10 million. Then there's one of my favorites. This is a Canadian fintech company trading on the OTCQB that has gained over 200% since I first took notice of this in July. This stock is trading around 180 right now, but it's still far below its 52 week high, has a world class management team and a market cap of less than $80 million. Or would you prefer to see an update video on Eyeless International, who have released more good news this week? If you're new to the channel, I've done lots of videos on Eyeless over the past six months, so check it out. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you want to see next, and remember to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot with the algorithm. If you're new, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification. Follow me over on Twitter and join the Facebook group. All links below. So what do I think? I believe that Puget has a lot of potential. Like all OTC penny stocks, there is huge risk here. But Puget seemed to have put together a very solid management team and the addition of Miss Fordham could prove vital. They have a clear strategy in place, which sometimes can be rare in the OTC pink sheets. And they're making huge progress with their acquisition plans. I think that at the current market cap of less than $40 million, this is still very low and we could see this make huge gains this quarter and into early 2022. But this is just my opinion. If anyone thinks about buying this stock, I encourage you to do your own research. As I said before, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Thanks for watching the video. What are your thoughts on the future of Puget and how high do you think that this can go? Leave a comment down below and I'll catch you in the next update.